This is Kevin McCain with Kevin McCain Studios and today we're going to talk a little bit about mixing colors and a little bit about um, color theory and some things of that nature. So first I have here our color wheel or the color oval as the case may be. Um, for our primary colors we have yellow, red, and blue. And then for our secondary colors we have orange, purple, and green. Our primary colors are colors that cannot be mixed and from mixing your primaries you can get your secondary colors green purple and orange as well as your earth tones you can mix grays um, if you're wondering what the gray dot is this is as these colors transition through their intensity from the most intense color all the way down to a, a neutral indistinguishable gray color uh, in terms of the colors we're going to use to mix instead of using like prime yellow blues and reds we're going to use sort of a staggered color. There are going to be colors in between our primary and secondary colors. So normally on my palette I have a cadmium lemon or a cadmium yellow light which is a greener, has a little bit of green to it, that, that yellow. The other yellow I use is either a cad medium or a cad medium, pardon me, a cad yellow medium or a cad yellow deep and that's because it has a little orange to it. I also use Cad Red Light, which is an orange or red, and I also use Alizarin Crimson. Now, I've added a little bit of white to this. Crimson is actually darker, but this is, allows you to see that it's a, a bluer, or more violet red. Then I use a ultramarine blue, like this down here. Again, it's had white added to it, so you can see, because it's much darker, that it is a little bit violet, and it's blue. And then I have a Thalo Blue, which is a little green the blue that leans a little green and again I've lightened it with some white so you can actually see that color a bit better. Now just some real quick things about color. The closer your colors are the more intense your mixture. So if I'm mixing an orange this uh, cad red light and this cadmium yellow medium or cadmium yellow deep whichever they're closer together on this color wheel therefore I'm gonna get a more intense mixture. The further away my colors, like if I was, say, making an orange with this lemon yellow, this cad, le this cad yellow light, and this alizarin crimson, they are further apart, further apart on the color wheel. Therefore, the orange that I'm going to get is going to be much more subdued. And that's the same, uh, same concept for no matter what you're mixing. If I'm mixing a violet, the, the Lizard Crimson and Ultramarine Blue are closer, they'll give me a nice rich violet. Whereas the Ultra, the Thalo, pardon me, not Ultra, but Thalo Blue and Cad Red Light are going to give me a much less intense violet. Let's see some of this in uh, s some of the real world um, practicality. Alright, so we went ahead and we've laid out our colors. Now I'm no longer going to talk about these in terms of their specific um, paint names. I'm just going to talk about yellows as in green yellow, orange yellow, uh, orange red, violet red, violet blue, and green blue. So let me just kind of show you what I was talking about on the color wheel. Closer the colors are, the better and more intense your color. So let's mix up an orange for instance. And I've, I've got this, this uh, orange yellow and I'm going to grab this orange red and mix them together and if you notice you can add a little more yellow down here if you want a little more yellow orange that's a very very intense orange I'm going to let's say I want to go ahead and mix another orange but I'm going to use now the um, green yellow and this violet red so they're further apart on the color wheel and the orange I'm going to get is much less intense. It's getting towards your earth tones or your browns. Um, anyone who's seen kind of your, your ochres. And this is a great way to control your color because if I want an intense mixture, I know, hey, I'll just grab these two. If I need an orange that's more like, you know, the colors of fall or what you'll see in nature, I'd probably grab my yellow that is more green and my red that's more violet to give myself a much less intense orange. 
Now the same thing is going to happen for my other mixtures. Let's say I want to mix a green. Well, I'll get my green blue. That's a lot. That blue is pretty strong, so I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to get some of my green yellow or my green yellow. Try to take off some of that. Let me wipe off that orange yellow they got on there a little bit. So I've got my green yellow, my green blue. And again, I'm getting this green and I can add a little bit of get a little bit more yellow. I could even add um, I can add a little bit of white to this to help you see that this is a very intense intense green. It's the most intense green you can mix. Then if I'm going to go ahead and mix a let's mix a green using our violet blue and our our orange yellow. So again, I have a purple blue and I have an orange yellow. And we're going to get a green that's much more like kind of army fatigues. It's more of an olive green, a warmer green, which is great if you want to make warmer or, or uh, cooler greens. If I want to make a green that's much more, again, earthy, I can add some white to this. And if you'll notice, this is much less, is much more subdued. So, I mean, look at those two greens next to one another. And yes, this is also has more yellow to it, but it's also much, um, it's much more, le it's much less intense. I mean, I could add more blue to this, but it's not going to add any more intensity. It's just going to shift its hue. In other words, it's going to shift its color slightly and go more blue. So, I mean, this is the more blue side of that mixture. And again, it's, it's still towards it's a more gray or earthy sort of a of a green which is great if I again if I want to control my intensities if I want intense colors I get the colors that are closer on the color wheel the green blue the green yellow if I want them more earthy and more gray sorts of greens is what I need then I'll use my violet blue and my orange yellow once again for violets it's gonna be the same thing if I want really some intense I'm gonna grab this this violet red, I'm going to grab this violet blue and I'm going to get just this shockingly intense purple. Now this is again very uh, dark so I'm going to add a little bit of white to this so you can see what that is because it's so dark and so uh, it has still quite a bit of red to it. I could add more blue if I wanted to shift it more blue whatever but this is the most intense violets you're going to be able to mix. If I wanted to go ahead and mix a violet that's a little less intense, let's try this. We're going to get our, our green blue. That's just so much of that. That's way too much because they're this is a very intense blue, thalo blue. A little bit goes a long, long way. Save a lot of money getting that paint. Um, and this is my orange red. So I've got a red that's more orange and I've got a blue that is more green and by mixing the two together I'm going to get, um, if you look at that, that's all that's, that's very brown and uh, has violet in it but it's still very neutral because you have uh, green in the blue, orange in the red. I could add a little bit more of this orange red if I wanted to but again it's it may it's still in the violet um, category, but it is much more gray or much less intense. However, you want to describe that. Again, this is ways of controlling our intensity. Now, if I wanted to, I could I could I could even I could mix and match. In other words, we've gone from the extremes. Both uh, you know the closest would be like with a green, green yellow, green blue, really intense. Orange, yellow, violet blue, as gray as I'll get using these mixtures. Let's say I went in between those two extremes, I could use either my orange yellow and my green blue, or I could use my green yellow and my violet blue, and I'd get two extra colors that were actually between these two extremes. And the same goes for any of the other uh, mixtures of mixing secondary colors. Um, if I wanted a violet that's not this neutral but not this intense, I could use my violet blue 
and my my um, orange red, and I get I would get a mixture that's not as bright as this, not as dull as this, but somewhere in between. So by using these types of mixtures and doing these types of things, you can get colors that are less intense, more intense, more dull, and and, and or more bright depending on how you mix your colors. Again, the closer they are on the color wheel, the brighter your mixtures. The further apart they are on the color wheel, the duller your mixtures. This has been Kevin McCain Studios, and this has been mixing your colors and how to mix using primary colors. And you can learn more about my workshops, look more about my, find out about my artwork, see what's going on in studio, at kevinmccainstudios.com. Thank you.